Hello everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and it's time for our next set of quests in the Season of Remembrance. Quest 3 and 4. Although some people might call it Quest 2, I guess. We're going to go down here into the Repository of Refuge to start our next part. As usual, all we have to do is go over to the quest giver and give him a little chat. Hello. And we will start our third quest. The tiptoeing tea brewer regrets the past. Retrieve the lost memory lanterns to help them. Oh. Hmm? So the quest is going to be pretty similar to the last one. Very assembly-esque where we have to go find some missing memory lanterns. The memory lanterns that would bring them peace are lost. Find the Lost Lanterns elsewhere in Vault of Knowledge. So this is our first quest where we actually leave this section, which is pretty cool. I'm actually very into that. So we're going to go back to the first floor of the Vault of Knowledge by heading this way. And of course, running uh, using a controller. It is making me jump on everything. And these lanterns are going to be super easy to find. It's actually just going to point you to where they are. Super easy, just across this room. Again, this quest is going to be super easy to do. We're just going to fly over here, sit down, and get started. Now we must gather all the pieces. If you really can't find any, you can also deep call on yourself, and I believe it makes these light up and call, but there are three pieces and they are pretty easy to find. We have our first one just up on the shelf over here. Oh my goodness, I don't like using controller. Huh. Our next one is just across down the hall a little bit. And this one gives us the tea set furniture item, which is pretty cool. I do love that. And her final one is just towards the very beginning of the Vault of Knowledge, right here. And this one gives us, yeah, the bookshelf. So with that, we are already done the quest. Super, super easy. We're just going to fly all the way back over here, back into the Repository of Refuge, and turn this quest in. Hello, sir. There we go. You fulfilled the wish of this ancestor spirit. And back to speaking to them again for our reward and also the fourth quest. So we get a heart. Very nice. And then the fourth quest here. The spirit longs for what they have lost. Visit the shared space shrine to help them. So once again, we have to design another shared space, and this time it has to be based around the tiptoeing tea brewer, and we have to use some of their items. Enter the shared space to set it up for them. I think this is a pretty cool way to um, have the quest work. Pretty unique. It's nice to actually have the shared space utilized. Enter your shared space to start designing. And for this one, we actually have to fly all the way up here. Design a space that eases this spirit's sorrow. Now, a warning. 
If you're like me and you play in one-handed mode, it is not going to let you fly up. That's why I'm using a controller today so I can actually fly using the button on the controller. But if you're on iPad or iOS, all you have to do is make sure you're into two-handed mode and you can push the flight button. So if you are having issues flying up, try that. I believe Switch players and PlayStation players should be able to do this though. So I am going to use my Bluetooth uh, controller here and fly up. Whee! I just don't like uh, two-handed mode. And it's not because I play one-handed, I just like playing one-handed mode with two hands. I don't know if that makes any sense. Let's design a cute little tea space, maybe something like a little shop. I'll put the tea set there. Oh, they're so happy already. The spirit is feeling better. That was fast. Uh, let's put their little bookcase. Not really necessary. I just like to make the space look a little bit cute. So, um, what are we going to do now? Uh, I guess we could put down... No, that looks ugly. That looks too much. I guess we'll just build a little nook around this tea set, make it nice and cozy. I was going to do a couple tea sets, but it just doesn't suit the theme here. So here we have a pillow, a pillow. We'll do another pillow, maybe bundled on top of this pillow. Wow. So cozy and messy. Ah, uh, put some stuff on the shelf. Let's put... Hmm... Or should we put something at the entrance? That is overwhelming. No, 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 no. Let's not. That also looks too cheerful. Ugh. Whatever. It works. And then we'll put some stuff on the shelf. I want to put the fox. Ah, it always faces away from me. Gotta go behind the shelf. And then, hello. Okay. And then, um, uh, I don't know. What else should we do? A pot? Maybe. Okay. Cute little pot. I completely forgot about these stickers. I forgot they existed. Huh. There's so many of them. We're still missing one though, aren't we? Sorry, I am getting majorly distracted from this quest. Let's just put something down. Yeah, that just makes no sense, but let's do it. We need a light source. Okay, that works. Let's save this. Mm-hmm. And we will name it, uh... Relax and Remember. Alright, so with that done, we are now done the fourth quest. And that's pretty cool because we now get a really unique prop. And we get to watch the sad cutscene. Oh, It's the fellow that passed away in the bed. When we were gathering mushrooms and tea or whatever. But you know what? They don't actually look sad. Kind of like a, like a thoughtful remember. So all the way up, we now have a double high five. Woo! And we now have access to buy this tea set for 50 candles. So it's not really that cheap, but remember that it will always be available even after the season ends. And let's go check out what it is. So I genuinely love this tea set item. I think it's so cute and it's a nice nod to the Days of Bloom tea set items while being a free item. And it's really detailed too on your back. The model's really nice. I love the way it's very shiny and golden. And when you place it down, it is giant. Uh, let me try and put it somewhat flat-ish. There. So you can see we have this giant teapot. And our cups are empty, we just had to wait a little tiny bit for it to boil and pour. And you can hear it also has a really cute boiling noise, a whistle. And the cups are filled. 
so you can pick one up and each cup has three sips now the downside about this is that it doesn't function like the other um, tea sets it's not a chat table it's just here to uh, put in a shared space or somewhere public and have some tea maybe with the people you already have as friends but it's extremely cute all we do is pick up a cup have a sip I just love the feature where it has to boil first it's super cute I drink every single drop of every single cup but if I walk around they will refill It's like magic. Wow. Truly this is such an adorable prop. I think it's one of the best ones we've had so far, especially as an in-game currency item. But do remember that it is always available from the Remembrance Guide, so if you don't have the candles, don't worry too much about it. And that is everything with the Quest 3 and Quest 4 of the Season of Remembrance. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. Hope you found this helpful, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.